y'all. So I just went and got my hair braided real quick fast. Well, it wasn't real quick, but I went and got my hair braided at the last minute because I decided, um, let's see if I can hold y'all like that, because I decided I didn't want to go and have surgery um, and just leave my locks to grow like that because they might form together and then it was going to be hell. So I got my hair done. Um, it is so it is sore than it normally is and it's probably because I'm not used to I'm still tender headed because I'm used to my hair being cornrowed but not plaited so plaits kind of hurt my head a little bit more um, than what I normally get but um, like sew-ins and stuff because I'm a sew-in girl I'm a wig girl put like that I'm not a sew-in I'm not used to all that tension and stuff in my hair but um so I went ahead and got my hair braided over my locks and now I am on my way to see my mom, my sister, and my baby. Um, and trying to make sure that I don't forget some last minute things. Like I need my iPad. I need my pen. Okay, I got one. But I need my iPad, I need my pen. And I need a phone charger. I did not put a phone charger in my bag. I forgot to grab it. So I'm about to go grab all of that. I, um, what else? I am excited. I'm not like scared nervous, but I'm scared nervous, if that makes sense. It's not like I'm thinking anything's gonna be go wrong. I just want everything to go right. earlier she had this man that was over there pray over me and I uh, will pray for me and um, it's gonna be good I'm not too worried about I'm sorry about this son like y'all I'm not too worried about nothing crazy happening um, I'm not anxious like oh like oh my god I'm so scared something's gonna happen like I don't have that nervous anxiousness I just I'm just ready to get there and get everything going, honestly. Um, I'm excited because I do, thought that was bull. I do get to spend some time with my, um, hold this camera, y'all. I don't want it to slip up. I do get to spend some time with my family before I leave. And that was my biggest thing. Not saying I'm not going to see them when I get back. But I know when I get back, I'm going to be more focused on healing and Sometimes when you get like that, it's like you really don't want to, um, what is it called? You really don't focus on anything. Oh, wow. Traffic. Okay. You really don't focus on anything other than that. Like, you really try to, I'm going around this. You really try to make sure you be up on your shit, so... That's what I'm trying to make sure I do in the process of everything. Oh, shit. It's okay. I'll stay right here. Um, so that's all I'm doing. It's just trying to make sure I don't miss anything and remembering things and just putting the last minute touches on. I couldn't get my lip piercing out. I have some little band-aids. It was actually a big band-aid. I'm going to lay it over it. Um, and on my eye just to make sure that's fine you know and um, when y'all see me again I'll be in the airport so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out I'm gonna erase everything off my memory card um, so that I can move forward with making sure I have enough memory to record everything and my baby so she can know that I'm done getting my hair done so I'll hit y'all y'all listen me in the airport and my name is Brittany Lanier I'm the one that is going okay so we need to cancel for Tina 
Yes, I need the Kina Goddard canceled to and from. Okay. Okay, so because it was the, um, the flight cancel, Okay, no problem. Sorry about the background noise. My little thing just started cleaning the floor. I'm sorry. Come on, try. Holding just for a moment. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
So we have the refund request, and it can take um, seven to ten business days to be processed. Okay. And is there anything else we can assist you with today? No, that's it. I thank you so much for your assistance. My pleasure. Thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. Same to you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, y'all. <laughs> My flight was canceled. Oh, I have to. My flight got canceled, y'all. I just had to pay $200 to reschedule my surgery because of the cancellation. I'm gonna do a breakdown on it, but put it like this. I won't be flying out until March 24th, okay? March 24th. Bullshit. So pissed. You ready to just kill ourselves together? I'm ready, bitch. When? <laughs> you got to be pranking me. I started texting you back and I said, I ain't saying she might be real. I thought that bitch you didn't want to come just say this. Because I was like, I know damn well. There ain't no fucking way. The day before. Girl, less than 12 I, hours before I, I, I was supposed to fly out, they canceled the flight due to the weather in Dallas. So. And where you flying to? I had to go to Dallas, and then from Dallas, I had to go to Brownsville. So there's no. To see how far it was to drive. That shit, six, ten hours. I'm like, believe now we can make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Said we I leave that bitch, we can make it. Hell yeah! My bitch ride or die for me. Said we were driving. Uh huh. Six, ten hours, twenty-seven minutes, twenty from here. We would have got there. And my surgery won't until the twenty-third. You want to drive? No, it's okay. I don't pay Bitch, this. At this point, I drive through a tornado. I ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> I got to ten o'clock. <laughs> oh, you made me feel better. And then Kena pissed me off so bad. I just left it alone. What she said? I sent you the conversation where she was just mm -hmm. being so ghetto about it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> just ghetto about it. Girl, so you ready for this? Oh, don't come with no mess. I had to pay two hundred dollars to get another flight to get another surgery. They be but you were able to re reschedule around those days for the twenty fifth. So she moved my surgery to the twenty fifth. See, that's the thing. My doctor only do two to three people a day. He don't work all day. So, I was able to get in for the 25th at 8 a.m. Um, but I had to pay $200. I'm like, the flight was canceled. It's no way for me to get there. She's like, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to follow protocol. What's the protocol? They don't even sound right. To charge me $200. To send me, to, to charge me $200. But this okay, because this is what I'm going to do. I emailed, I was talking to another girl. The girl, um, Morgan. That I had been mm -hmm. conversing with. She said, bitch, you want to fuck her, don't she? She sound like you when she talk. I said, yeah, bitch, I do. I want to rock her ass. <laughs> she, said, she said, just be polite. She like, I'm about to give you the email to just email them. And so I already had the email. Because, you know, I've been talking to them. Because they've been conversing with me ever since the start mm -hmm. of my surgery. So, um, I just rescheduled my COVID test. Because now my COVID test is invalid. So I had to reschedule my fucking COVID test. And then I should have just scanned it and changed the date. That's what yeah. I should have did. Yeah, but it's okay. Did. It ain't charging me shit. So I um I had to reschedule my my what you call it date. And it's so crazy because so many people hit me up to get their fucking nails done. I had five people hit me up today. Wow. I could have made two hundred and eighty dollars today. Yeah, get the back door. Girl, that's it. I ain't even argue with bitch. Like, I sent I sent my doctor an email. I gave them time to respond. Sometimes they respond right back, but he been taking days to respond. So 
so I ain't want a chance for in the bitch be like, oh, she want to be funny? Oh, it's gone. Mm -hmm. So I just went ahead and paid down $200. I said, Lord, it'll get back to me some kind of way. Um, She got me scheduled for the 25th. I just sent my um contract back to them. And then um my flight is taken care of. So I don't leave. Let me see it updated in my app, but I didn't get the email. I don't leave until March 24th at 512. So I probably still come stay with you then. Hold on, this clock is gonna hang up. She went to go get my food. Okay. Hold on. Hi, baby. You still on the phone? I was talking to Kenya. Oh, okay. Um, so are we staying at your sister? You want me to stay there with you or Yeah, unless you had it your unless you had it set to go home. Nah, nah, I just I just wanted to know. So yeah. I know what to do. I, I gotta go in there and make the bed back up. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Girl, she wanted to know if it was okay if she stayed here with me, but um. So my recovery house, I got everything set for the. Oh, let me send her my new, my new um flight plan. I gotta find it. I gotta send her my new um I gotta send her my new flight shit. And then um everything is cool. And it's so crazy because I was gonna okay, it's hundred and fifty dollars cheaper. So really I'm still spending I'm I really only spending extra fifty dollars because I was paying extra for King for Kina to come. Plus, I'm getting my money back oh, for the so flight. You're going by yourself now. I, that's what I was about to tell you. So I gotta go by myself now. My recovery house. She didn't have room for two people. She only has room oh, for day. one person. Yeah. So she told me she was like, "Don't worry about anything. I'll go with you in there, whatever." She's like, "I won't be able to stay overnight with you." She's like, "But I'll be there to take you in to make sure everything gets settled to get you settled." She said, "And when they will you back, I do leave." Um. She said, "I will contact." the nurse's office to call and check on you and if you need anything at that time tell them and they'll tell me and I'll bring it to you and then she'll be there to pick me up the next day how long are you gonna stay there I'll be there overnight so I'll be overnight yeah I gotta stay in the hospital overnight the first night Oh, and then you go into the recovery house and then house. I go to the recovery oh, okay. house I'm gonna stay at the house um I go to the house from the 20, oh shit, yeah, the 25th to the 29th. Okay. So she's still going to pick me up. Oh my God, I don't want you to be by yourself. Girl, you know what? I don't want to be by myself either, but you know what I say? It just might not meant to be. Yeah. That's true. And the only thing I can say, if she was really looking forward to that, she fucked it up herself. Cause remember, she cut, oh, you asked me, bonk. Bonk. So I'm just gonna chill out. I gotta call my mom and tell her. Uh, um, I'm just pissed, being for real. But you know what? A lot of people flights been getting canceled, but not just for like mechanical issues and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they can like got canceled. Um, um, for Houston. When she Thursday, when she went to New York, so I guess she, I don't know what she is. But um, she said her flight got canceled for mechanical issues. I would have been okay with that. I wouldn't need yeah. argue. I wouldn't need argue. I'm glad y'all look. I wouldn't need have argued, okay? Oh, and this is actually good because I actually have a straight flight there now. Oh, okay. So oh, let me. Come, what about coming back? Coming back, I still got a layover. I mean, I'd rather have a straight flight coming back. Me too. But I don't want it. But I then, you know what I thought about? Maybe this good. I can get up and walk. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That is true. Um, when you coming back? Um, the 29th. Right before you weave. Because I... <laughs> If you could have somebody to fly, this fly back. 
<laughs> my bitch said she go ride for me. Girl, I'm just saying, Brady, because that's a lie. It is, but girl. But you know what? I be out there for so long. Um, uh, well, when they take me to the airport and stuff, they check my bags and stuff for me. So I'll be out, and then I get a wheelchair to wheel me around. So. And you'll probably be, if you gonna be there, cause you gonna be recovering for a total of five days, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't think you gonna be, are you gonna tell me so? Yep. You, um, you should still be, you know, you ain't gonna be, you can still be a mobile a little bit. Yeah, I'm a, um, this girl though, on her fifth day, she's standing up straight. Let me show it to you. Mm -hmm. Did I see you the white girl? You did the one that um you sent me a white girl to TikTok. Uh uh, not her. Let me send it to you real quick. She had five day post out girl. She was standing up and looking all good and stuff, and she was still swollen, but she looked good. So I can't even. Girl, I gave that baby some and everything. And he knocked out. Me in front of these folks. Oh. He knocked out. I just screenshot it. She's standing up pretty good, so. Yeah. And she had a whole mommy makeover. She had her chin and everything done. Damn. Well, you'll be fine. I ain't lying, honey. Fine, dang. Because she damn chilly. I don't need a home and everything. That's why I do she at home, but. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, no, she had a recovery home. Oh, okay. That's why I said, how she pack all that shit up in there like that? Mm -hmm. But whatever. I guess she said make it her home. I think she hired her own personal nurse and she's at an Airbnb or something. Mm -hmm. So, this, that, um, that was my new flight info. I got that out the way. I got my surgery rescheduled. I got, my, the I got my um COVID test rescheduled. Excuse me. That's it. Girl, that's <coughs> it. It just <coughs> must <coughs> not be <coughs> meant to be. No. It did and I was like, don't get upset. I was literally talking to myself. I was just like don't get upset and uh, how you get back to the damn screen you updated your phone here you go i was just like don't get upset and um who i look like my sister like that don't get upset and don't get mad with nobody because people will help you out better if you're not mad and that's just what i kept in my mind like don't get mad with nobody like bitch i could have had my nails on <laughs> It's on the four days. God, I just can't get over these. Uh oh, my mama just sent me that black print thing again. Has it opened up? I'm about to see because I have forgot all about it. Damn. It's Long Beach. Oh, that. No, I don't see nothing. I got to go back to the one that you sent me. But, um, yeah, I guess that's the good news. I can get my money back for her flight. Mm -hmm. If they can't see this one, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I might just have to walk around with a flat ass from here on now. I just don't fucking know. Oh. <laughs> mm. You confirmed on your new flight. As long as it stay there. Can't got time for no bullshit. Fine. That's why I always try to get, um, protection just like i got that damn cruise because you don't never know oh about them cruises my client that worked there she said check the something page she said because they do still require vaccinations they sending me emails about something but it's like it's they it, it don't make sense so check that that's why i had called you that day she said it's something action page let me see Cause I might have to call them cause this shit's like they talking in service. Yeah, and she said, um, she said just make sure 
that you um when you request your money back that you let them know whoever booked you never told you that you had to be vaccinated and she said you can submit for a exemption from being vaccinated but you have to have something from a doctor saying that it's a reason why you can't get vaccinated Also, y'all, I um, I just recorded the video, but let me let this focus. Is it gonna focus? Cause I just look like a black dot right now. There we go. There we go. Um, what I was saying in the beginning of the video that I was upset about my surgery, but like I said, it is something that saved my life. So I'm happy about it. Um, I just want to get it over with. Um, what I do want to give y'all is <laughs> how this stuff goes. So, um, and let me just check my email so I can see if I have missed anything. This Wi-Fi is poor outside. I don't know why this Wi-Fi is so horrible. Um, I did email my doctor. And my doctor did not respond back yet. Um, yeah, I don't have anything from them. I sent them a message at... yesterday notifying them that my flight was canceled at 9 04 p.m so um they never responded so i had to reach out to body by doctor that's who i scheduled my appointment through everything went fine um however what really pissed me off and i just had to say you know what do you want it and how bad do you want it um because that's the <laughs> that's all i could do but um, I was told by a person I'm speaking with, and I'm not going to use their name because I don't, let me see, did they put their name in there? Let me see. I want to say Ashley is running this, but I don't think so. Oh wow, that's my fault. I never asked, but I want to say this is Ashley because it's body by doctor. Could be someone else. Um, they've been nice to me, so I haven't had any problem. Yeah, it's Ashley. I got her phone number and everything right here. So, um, everything went good when I was booking. However, they canceled my flight due to the tornado hitting uh, northern Texas. So I was flying to from RDU to DFW and from DFW to BRO, which is in Brownsville, Texas. Um, and so they canceled it. So I notified her that it was canceled. She responded right away. I will give her that. She responded like, she was the first to respond back. Out of everybody I hit up uh, regarding my surgery, she was on it. Um, and she said, um, my designated doctor was Revere. I said yes. And she said, yes, you can change your date, but there's an extra fee of $200, which isn't deducted from your remaining balance. That's what I didn't like. I mean, it is what it is at this point, but I feel as if that is taking advantage of people because if there's a tornado and I can't get there, my my schedule should be reset. Um, my surgery should be rescheduled at no cost. At no call. So I go on and I say, even though my flight was canceled, they don't have any flights. I checked for both airport airports. There's no flights going to Brownsville from RDU for me to choose. I called and spoke with um, American Airlines myself. She said, I totally understand, dog, but I have to follow protocol and your surgery schedule for next week. We need to make changes. My schedule wasn't wasn't scheduled for next week. It was scheduled for the 23rd. So I don't know where she got that from. So, and I had my paperwork and I had already talked to um, Dr. Riviera's assistant to know that my surgery was scheduled for the 23rd. I said, okay, my surgery was supposed to be scheduled for the 23rd. My flight was supposed to fly out the 22nd at 3 a.m. Who do I need to send the $200 to and what surgery date would it be for so I can send my flight info to my recovery home? 
she said March 25th is available if you're paying through Cash App or Zelle. Um, she gave me she gave me um, that information and I ain't gonna lie I try to lead her on to make her think I was sending the $200 and waiting to see if my doctor will respond and automatically switch my date uh, for my for my surgery but they never responded so I just went ahead and sent her the $200 via Zelle um I know y'all can't see that but I went ahead and sent her the $200 by Zelle and she said no problem I'm seeing the information now um and she sent me surgery for the next day which is the 25th at 8 a.m and I signed my contract um by her balance is 5500 and yeah so that's that and you know what let me make sure that's my same yeah i just want to make sure because it was 5900 was my quote i, I did a 400 dollars deposit so yeah 5500 so um that's my remaining balance so i had to spend an extra 200 dollars y'all prepare for stuff like this it's not fair it's not right but at this point arguing with them is not going to do anything they're not going to wait to feed if anything they'll probably tell you oh you waited too late the surgery date is gone so i'm not going to argue with anybody this is something that i want to do um i will speak with the doctor afterwards uh, i'm not going to say you paid before because i don't want to be botched i don't want to be killed i will be nothing my doctor don't have any deaths uh so i'm gonna keep it like that <laughs> um I don't want to piss anybody off, so I'm just going along with it. Um, and then afterwards, I'll air their ass out, okay? But until then, I'm gonna go with the flow, and that's what I'm gonna do. So let me go in here. I'm just gonna throw a jean coat on over what I have on, cause I'm gonna go. Um, I'm going to go walking as well after editing my videos. And then I'll be back in the house for today. So, if you haven't done so, y'all, please subscribe. I'll never say that in my videos. I guess I'm not a real YouTuber. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Y'all, please subscribe, like, comment. I don't get too many comments. I get likes, though. Um, Y'all, give me some comments. Give me some people to talk to. And thank y'all so much. And for the people that's been following me for years when I used to be on YouTube and really putting out content, I know at least every week, uh at least two, two videos a week thank y'all for still watching me it makes me feel really good um and yeah so i'm gonna go edit this video for y'all y'all about to see this in a little bit thank y'all so much today is march 22nd i supposed to be out there but it's okay and again my prayers go out to the families um that have been affected by the tornado um even my old friend that used to live out there, I kind of looked to make sure their area was good or whatever. Because when I stop talking to people, I don't hate them. It's just that, you know, your energy is not a necessity for my life. So, that's that. So, gotta go.